You guys know what the fastest growing crime in America is? It is identity theft. And there's a new victim every 14 seconds. One of my brothers just recently experienced this. It was horrible, guys. He spent hours on the phone with companies trying to get everything situated. And to prove to, him, to prove to them that it was him, he had to send text messages to family and friends to let them know not to send this hacker money because it wasn't him. It was crazy. And that's why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy use app. You might have one of these services already, but if you don't have all the tools, it's like locking the front door but leaving the back door open. Where are they doing that at? Those of you who have already had your identity stolen already are often shocked when this happens. Imagine trying to log into your email account only to realize that the password had been changed hours ago. And then later, you're getting notifications from your bank accounts, credit cards, and crypto accounts apps. Can you believe it? What are you gonna do? Who mm. oh, I will be horrified. Thankfully, Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, social security number, credit cards, and they do it quick by sending alerts really fast right to your phone and email. Thank you for that. Aura also gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit card activities as if let's say like someone who was um, opening a loan or credit card in your name or VPN allows you to stay anonymous online while keeping your browser history and personal information safe and encrypted protect your family and yourself from identity theft by going to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash aura dot com forward slash SIBO and snapper if you sign up right now or will give you a two week free trial with my link to see how many times you'll see your personal information or your family's personal information on the dark web. And if you sign up, let me know in the comments below if your personal information has been compromised. You won't regret checking. Yeah. Hey, y'all see it. Right now, it's just, it's just me, man. Snapper will be back on the next one. It's just me, she had to run. But hey, listen, listen, let's go, let's go, man. We're back with another man. Bring you another freaking video. Oh, so you know I got another um, family feud this time. Family, family, family. So I got another family feud, man. This time I wanna see, it's called, he said three brothers married three women with the same name. How did that happen? Yeah, for real. How does that line up like that to get the same name? Y'all must have planned that out. but. Let's get it, man. Three brothers married, three women with the same name. Okay, okay, let's see. Top seven answers on the board. Name the worst moment for your car to break down. The expressway, highway. On the way to a job interview. On the way to the job. That's a good one. That's a good one. Going to the hospital. Going to the hospital. On the expressway. Pass a play. Okay. We will play, Steve. We're gonna play, let's go. Gifty, how you doing? I am doing fabulous, Steve. Absolutely. How are you? I'm all, hey, you know what? I'm always good. I know you yeah. are. I'm always good. I wake up in a great mood every day. Why he clenching his teeth? because I look at every day as an opportunity. If yes. God wakes me up, I'm glad. I'm glad. So, what do you do for a living? At the moment, I'm a stay-at-home mother. That's a big job. Yes, it is. When my twins were born, I had to stay home with them for three weeks. I was out of work. It was the worst three weeks of my <laughs> life. I believe it. <laughs> I, they were my kids. I didn't want to be their daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed home with twins. 
That's the worst thing <laughs> I've ever done. That's when I grew to appreciate women for real. Yes. First of all, <laughs> first of all, y'all make babies. That's crazy right there. <laughs> you produce a life, it grows in your stomach, you give birth to it, and you make human beings, right. and then you care for them. The design, that's, that's the design, that's how it's supposed to be. That's what you're supposed to be doing. I can't make a baby, and I don't want to care for them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I have seven children. God bless. And there are times when I don't <laughs> like all of them. I believe it. <laughs> Why, wow, you got seven. Introduce everybody. Well, Steve, I brought with me today my lovely sister-in-laws and our niece, Anita. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gifty, yes. gifty, gifty Anita. What, the, what? <laughs> what is your name? Gifty. You're her sister? In-law. 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 Yes. And what's your name? I'm Gifty, Steve. And what is your relationship? Sister-in-law. So... <laughs> she sound like she from the South. I'm giving you Steve Stain-Law. <laughs> your brothers are married to them. Yes. And each one of your brothers... Went Our husbands are brothers. Our husbands are brothers. <laughs> wow. Okay, all right, I understand. Yes. All of your husbands are brothers. Yes. <laughs> yes, Steve. It's three brothers. Yes. And the three brothers are each married to one of you. Yes. yes. And these three brothers... Yes. <laughs> ...somehow <laughs> went out and found a woman named Gifty. Yes, Steve. And you believe that. Steve, yes. <laughs> Do you want our marriage certificates? It's true. No, I believe you're married. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would marry you. You're hey. beautiful. Hey. There's no problem. Not That's not a question. <laughs> I'm thinking, what are the chances exactly. that three brothers would each find a woman named Gifty? Right. First of all, the name ain't common. <laughs> Just looking around the room, <laughs> I would venture to say that I am the oldest person in this room. That's what I think. None of you are the same age as me. I've been on this earth longer than all of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I have met a human being named Gifty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. And on the day that I, <laughs> after 63 years of living, Woo. this is what 63 yeah. looks like. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you got it. Yeah. See, I got it. Yeah. And kept it together. Yeah. Holding on to it. <laughs> All right, let's play the game. I'll get to know more about this later on. <laughs> Gifty. <laughs> Gifty number two. Yes. <laughs> Name the worst moment for your car to break down. Steve, I think the airport. Going to the airport. Going to the airport. Yeah. yeah. Gifty number on the three. Way. Name the worst moment for your car to break down. Steve, I think when it's raining. When it's raining. Yeah, rain suck. Yeah. yeah. Slay queen. <laughs> oh, I've been learning over here. Yeah, slay queen. Yeah, slay yeah. queen. Slay yeah, queen. See, I told you, boy, Steve. <laughs> 
Oh, it don't take me long, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, name the worst moment for your car to break down. Steve, I believe when I'm going to church. All right. When you are going to church. <laughs> One strike. Well, we got two strikes now. We have to be careful. Turney family can steal. Name the worst moment for your car to break down. On the way to a date. On a date. Good That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Gifty number two. We have two strikes. The Turney family can still try to keep it on this side. Name the worst moment for your car to break down. When I am in labor. Labor. That's a good one. When you're in labor. Yes, about to have a baby. When you are in labor. No. <laughs> Name the worst moment for your car to break down. We're going to say on the motorway. The expressway. On the motorway. What? All right, let's check out the remaining answers. Number six. Oh. On a holiday. Yeah, Four. yeah. Wedding day. Three. Going, Going to work. work. All right, what do you think it is? Number one, what is it? In traffic. In, In traffic. traffic. Yeah, at night. Oh. Ha, <laughs> ha. Bruh, hey, I've been, I've, I've had a scenario too, man. Caught and caught and caught out on you at the wrong time, boy. But the whole gifty thing now, that's like, uh, that's super interesting, man. Is that a is that a normal occurrence, South Africa? Like, does that happen like that regularly? But man, that was awesome, man. I enjoy doing these, man. This is too funny, man. Too in these situations, like I said, man, I wasn't seeing these to, and when uh, um, when it was here in the in, in the state so man this is a treat man i appreciate y'all man like come subscribe man y'all bring it back man we'll see you on the next one snap me on me with the next one and we'll see y'all later man yeah